heard people say that this gloss formula was terrible and I didn't listen. I just went and bought it anyway and wasted my money. All right, we have another episode of speed reviews. In the speed reviews videos, I like to give you just quick little reviews on products that I've been testing, things you may have seen on my channel, but these are really my final thoughts after giving them a really good test run, off screen, on screen, all of the things. If you are new here, my name is Rachel, welcome. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I have a lot of products to talk about, so we're just gonna get right to it. Everything I talk about in today's video, I will link down in the description box below. And a lot of the products I'm talking about, I did use on my face today. So I will be inserting clips so that you can see them in action. Warning, a lot of lip products, a lot of lip products. I have been going crazy with the lip products, but this is kind of a big roundup and I will tell you why I like something or why I dislike something. So that will give you an idea about what the product is about. So we have three categories that I split these up into. The first one is yes, yes, yes. These are the products that I really have been enjoying, products that I recommend and things that I'm just loving and I think are worth the money. The second category, which is kind of in the middle, which is the meh category, things that are good, things that are functional. I would maybe suggest them depending on what you're looking for or what your preferences are. So they're kind of just fall in the middle. And then the lowest category is, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. It's definitely a no for me, dog. The voice is just not. These are products I don't recommend, things that are not worth the money, you shouldn't waste your time. Just, I just don't like the products. A lot of the products in the top category, which is the yes, 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 I did feature in my latest favorites video. So I'm sorry if you did see that video, there may be some repeat products, but there are also some other products I didn't mention in that video. So the first product in the top category that I wanna talk about are the Unearthly Cosmetics Single Blushes and Highlight. So I have the shades Bloom, Tangy, and Golden. I really love these products. These blushes in particular are just so beautiful. They're pigmented yet blendable. They're not overly pigmented, but you don't have to sit and build and build and build. The colors are just gorgeous warm tone blushes, which is my preference. And they're matte, but they have like a slight, like healthy look to the skin. They're not dry or chalky. They're just absolutely beautiful. They come in a million other colors as well. So if you aren't a warm toned blush lover, they have several other colors. And then this highlight, which is golden, I think is really, really pretty. And for a highlight to really stand out for me nowadays, I feel like it needs to be something a little different than our normal old highlighters. I mean, how many champagne powder highlighters can somebody have? I don't need 20 of them, but this has a slight like golden shift to it. It just looks really beautiful on the skin. I just have these in a random Z palette, but you can buy individual compacts for them or unearthly sells like a big empty palette as well. Highly recommend these blushes and highlight. I've been really enjoying them. Another cheek product, which I'm wearing on my face today that I've really been enjoying and I think is really nice, especially for the drugstore, is the LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. I have mine in the shade Rosebud. And like I said, it is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. It is just a really pretty rosy pink cream blush from the drugstore very affordable. Now, of course, you don't get a lot of product. I mean, this is a tiny little component and you can kind of feel that it's not all the way filled. So you're not getting a lot of product, but for someone like me who has a bazillion blushes, that's fine. <laughs> I'm never gonna go through a large component of cream blush, probably, you know, with all the ones that I have. This is really pretty. The thing I like about this is it's very easy to use. It doesn't lift off my foundation underneath. It doesn't apply patchy. I apply it usually with a brush and that works out perfectly for me. It's really nice. I like the color. I like the finish. It is more of a matte finish, which is my preference, but it doesn't look dry or patchy or weird. It's just really nice. This of course does come in other colors. If they come out with like a peachy orange color, you know I'm there. But I like this one, I have been enjoying it and I do recommend it. These next products I did already mention in my favorites video, uh, which I'm gonna link that video down below if you didn't see it. So I'm gonna move quickly because I could go on and on about these. These are the Odin's Eye Solmon 2 
blushes and highlights. First of all, the packaging is 20 out of 10. Absolutely gorgeous. The most gorgeous packaging I've ever seen in a cheek product. The embossing on the pan is just so beautiful. These little details to me make it more valuable. But on top of that, the application of these blushes is beautiful. I am wearing this one, which is Sunset Clouds over top of the cream blush. This is just like a beautiful mauve pink. And then Warm Sun is an absolutely gorgeous orange, which you know, I love orange if you've been here before. Love these blushes. These are the matte blushes. They did also come out with like shimmery blushes, which I did not purchase. I can't speak for those. And then I also picked up one of the highlights from the collection. This is Warm Sunshine. And like I said about the Unearthly Cosmetics highlight, this one is different. It actually, it kind of does look similar. Let me see. Let me swatch these side by side. No, they don't look similar. Never mind. I don't know that you're going to be able to really see, but Warm Sunshine is here and Golden is here. Warm Sunshine has a shift of like orange and pink and Golden is just doesn't really have a shift. It's just more of like a white gold. Warm Sunshine is so beautiful, especially paired with the orange blush from the collection. It is just an orange dream come true. It's a colorful highlight while still being wearable in my opinion. Just gorgeous. Highly recommend the highlights and the blushes from the collection. So beautiful. The next thing I wanna talk about is this LYS cream blush that I picked up on my last Sephora haul video, which I can link down below. And I was really scared. I did actually end up getting sent this color on accident. It is not the color that I ordered. This is the color Epic. I did order the shade Classy, which is like an apricot color, but it was sold out. Anyway, long story short, I got this one by mistake, but I actually have been really enjoying it. And how I've been enjoying it is using it with a sponge. In my Sephora haul video where I tried this on, I used a brush and it just put a lot of color on my cheeks all at once, just because it is a deeper color. I have one other variety of this formula and it is more of a buildable formula, but because this is such a deeper color, it just shows up very pigmented on my skin tone. But I feel with a sponge, I can get a much sheerer application. And the other day I wore this layered underneath Warm Sun and this combination together was so beautiful, just like a reddish orange. So, so pretty. I really, really liked that combo. So I've really been enjoying this with a sponge for a more sheer application. If you find a color in this formula that you like, I highly recommend them because I love this cream blush formula. All right, I have three lip products that I'm putting in the yes, yes, yes category. The first one is the one that I mentioned in my favorites video, so we'll get it out of the way. This is the ColourPop Glowing Lip. I have mine in the shade Indulge Me. It's just a really beautiful warm nude, which you're gonna hear me repeat that a hundred times during this video, but it is a very pigmented, glossy lipstick that feels like a bomb. I like the smell. I love the compact little tube. I feel like it fits my lips perfectly. I can apply it without a mirror. And I like that it has a lot of pigment to it because it does actually feel like a lipstick and you can wear this alone. You can wear it with a lip liner and it's very comfortable. And I just love how it makes my lips look. It just makes my lips look so juicy and hydrated and I love it. And I love the color as well. Love this lip product. The next lip product that I really like as well, which is very similar to the ColourPop one is the Wet n Wild Mega Last High Shine Brilliance Lipstick in the shade Close Off. This one is a little more of a pinky color. Yeah, they look almost exactly the same, but they're not. It's a very similar formula. I would say that this is a little more sheer than the ColourPop one. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today. Honestly, I take into account price point when I'm talking about these products and when I am ranking them, because I do feel like if I'm spending $40 for a lipstick and when I'm spending $3 for a lipstick, I do feel like I can cut the $3 lipstick some slack, you know, versus the $40 lipstick. So it's not super pigmented, but it is that same glossy lipstick, lip balmy type of lip product. It looks really pretty on the lips. 
very hydrated, very juicy, very easy to reapply. I love the color. It's a good purse lipstick that you could just throw in your purse, reapply without a mirror. Really nice and for the price, unbelievable. They don't have any sort of scent to them either. And then the last lip product I wanna talk about is the Give Beauty. This is the Original Me Matte Lipstick in the shade Lovable Me. I have been loving this lipstick. Now this one is a little bit more expensive than the other two that I mentioned. This is a Sephora brand and it's Gwen Stefani's brand. I really like the packaging. When I look at this packaging, it looks like a higher end lipstick versus the Wet n Wild one. So that's nice. This is completely different formula than the other two. Obviously it's a matte lipstick and it's a little more brown toned than the other two. I love the smell. It's like a minty smell, but it's not overpowering. It is a true matte, so like no shine at all. It stays put pretty darn well. It's not uncomfortable or drying. Now, is it as comfortable as these? No, <laughs> obviously, but not uncomfortable. And I love the color. I'm obsessed with the color. It's actually, I think one of my favorite tones of lipstick that I have in my collection. I highly recommend this if you are looking for a matte lipstick. If you don't like matte lipsticks, don't get this because it, it definitely feels matte, but it is very lightweight on the lips, very thin. You don't have to like pile it on to get pigment. I've really been enjoying this lipstick. Okay, now we're down to the middle category, which is meh. These are products that are good. Okay, they're good. They're not bad products, but there is a caveat to them. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with cheek products. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flip Flop. They just came out with this with one of their, well, probably four collections ago <laughs> at least, but I've had this for a couple of weeks now. If you've ever used the Super Shock Cheek formula, it is this like kind of bouncy cream to powder type of finish. So I like this, I don't love it. I've found that the best way for me and my preferences is to apply it with a sponge. If I use my fingers, it almost looks like it's sitting on top of my skin. It looks really heavy, it looks extra blingy, which is not my preference. If you really like a blingy highlight, you probably would like this and just applying it with your fingers. But I feel like using the sponge kind of presses it into my skin and shears it out a little bit. I think this tone is also maybe a little too light for me right now, but if I go in with a lighter hand or with the sponge, I feel like it really does help to shear it out and it does give a pretty effect on the skin. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and it does look pretty when I use a sponge especially. The next cheek product I wanna talk about is this blush from ColourPop. This is the Pressed Powder Blush in the shade Swirled. So I really like this warm pink color. It's very unique in my collection. If I wanna have a pink cheek, but not have a cool toned type of cheek. So this is really, really pretty. I do like it. I don't love it. I don't think there's anything like spectacularly special about it. It is very buildable. And I've had that experience with a lot of ColourPop pressed powder blushes that you really do need to build them up a lot to get a good amount of pigment, at least for my preferences and what I want. So it's fine, it's good, I'll continue to use it. It's not like one of my favorite blushes in my collection, but it's a good blush. So I picked up a couple of things from Pat McGrath because recently a few of her products went on sale on Sephora. And there is no way that I would be paying full price for some of the products that I picked up. So I was glad that I could get this on sale. So this is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. So packaging, absolutely beautiful. Just what you would expect from a Pat McGrath palette. Super pretty, very high quality. It comes with two blushes and a highlight. So I will say I really like the highlight a lot. It is my favorite part of this trio. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. More of a wet looking highlight, not glittery, not chunky, just really beautiful. The blushes. These are very, 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 very buildable. I think if you have any deeper of a skin tone than me, you're gonna have a really hard time getting these to show up on your skin because I need to go in like several times to get pigment and I never feel like 
it really ever gets to look like it looks in the pan. So that to me, I don't love. And especially, again, I factor in the price point. For the cost of this, I don't feel like I should have to do that. Once they are on my skin and once I've built them up, they actually do look really pretty. But for the price point, I don't know. I hope that makes sense. I, I do take that into account. The embossing on these blushes is also really pretty, really, really pretty. Adds to the luxury experience, but I'm putting these really in the middle. Okay, and then next up I have a mascara to talk about. This is the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. This is just an okay mascara for me. It's not terrible, it's not great. I have very straight lashes. They grow actually kind of like at a downward angle, which is great for me. So I need something that's going to lift my lashes and add volume. And I feel like this does that a little bit. It took a while for it to dry out before I feel like it did that for me. So just keep that in mind. I like other mascaras more at the drugstore and the other thing I didn't love about this is it is quite hard to remove. I feel like I have to like really scrub my eyes and it's still coming off, still coming off and then I still have raccoon eyes. So it's not the easiest mascara to remove, but it's not terrible and that's why it comes in at the middle. Okay, I have two lip products to talk about next. So the first one I had really high hopes for and I actually feel like I overhyped it in my mind. <laughs> so this is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Apricot Glow. First of all, the things I like about it is I do like the effect that it gives to my lips. Just a very glossy, more sheer wash of color, but very comfortable. It has a slight minty tingle to it. The things I don't like about it is the packaging. I feel like this is really cheap feeling for what you're paying. Like it feels really, really light, like a drugstore product. And then I also don't love how big the applicator is. I don't have like really big lips. They're kind of just average size. And I feel like when I use this, especially on my top lip, it goes over my lip line. And that's just not something that I really love. Versus like the ColourPop one is way smaller. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but the ColourPop one I feel like is way more functional of a product to use for precise application because you're able to just put it right in your lip line as opposed to going outside of your lip line. You know, so I don't love that. But I will, of course, use this up, but I don't see myself repurchasing it. And especially again, for the price point, it's not my favorite. I prefer the ColourPop one over this, to be honest. And then the last product I wanna talk about in this category is the LA Girl Lip Oil. I did recently just use this in a testing new makeup video. Let me tell you the good and the bad. So the good is the smell is so good. I got the Sheer Watermelon and it smells just like that watermelon bubblicious gum. Do you remember that gum? That's exactly what this smells like. And I really like how it feels on my lips. It is definitely more of a lighter, thinner lip oil. So it's not super thick. So if you like a thinner oil texture, you would like this one. The thing I don't like about this is that it pretty much disappears from my lips almost instantly, like within minutes. <laughs> I'll put it on my lips while I'm doing my makeup and it's gone. Honestly, within minutes, it just does not last very long at all. So that's really unfortunate. I won't be repurchasing this. I will, of course, use it up and I do leave it by my desk to wear while I put my makeup on, but I'm not gonna repurchase this one. Okay, and now we are down to the, it's gonna be a no for me dog category. I only have three products to talk about. The first one I did mention in a recent video, but the more I'm using it, the more I'm disliking it. <laughs> and it's a very unpopular opinion because a lot of people love this product, but this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I certainly don't like wearing this on its own. I did it again the other day just to see like just to see, maybe I was wrong. It looked horrible. It applied and looked terrible on application. And I only wore it for a few hours. And after a few hours, it looked so creasy on my eyes. It was actually coming off my under eyes. It's just not for me. I have very, very crinkly under eyes and I just need something that's going to stay put. And this 
just doesn't stay put. If you're looking for a hydrating concealer with medium coverage, you might like this, but I just don't like it. And in my experience, I just don't think it's a good concealer. The next product, this was another one I was really hoping to like because it wasn't cheap. Um, <laughs> and I kind of overhyped it in my mind. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream in the shade Nude Suede. So I think if I had gotten a different shade, this may have been bumped up to the meh category. This shade is just way, way too light for me. And how this formula works is like a liquid lipstick, but it's more of that velvety, silicone-y, thick texture. It's not super liquidy. So when I've been wearing this because it's so light, I really have been wearing it just in the middle of my lips because I feel like if I put it all over my lips, it looks really strange because of how light it is. But because of the thick texture of it, it sits on top of my lips and it does where the inside of your lips you know, you can see the ring. It sits really weird on the inner part of my lip. And you can see where the lip color ends and where my lip starts. It looks really bad. It looks really, really bad. And I think, again, because it's such a light color, I feel like you can really see the contrast. If I had gotten a slightly deeper shade, I don't know that I would have had this bad of an experience. But overall, I just don't love it. I don't feel like I need a, a lip product like this. It's not a lip product that I really see myself using. And I don't really suggest it if you want a liquid lipstick. There are plenty of other ones that I think are better than this one. And then the last product I wanna talk about is the worst of them all. I'm only gonna save it because I like the packaging, <laughs> which is sad to say, but it is the Lux Gloss from ColourPop. I have mine from the Star Wars collection in the shade Imperial. Now I like the shade, I like, I kind of like how it looks on my lips, but this is the weirdest lip gloss I have ever worn in my life. You're probably not even gonna see it. It's just like kind of peachy with some sparkles. I had heard people say that this gloss formula was terrible and I didn't listen. I just went and bought it anyway and wasted my money and everybody was right. It's the weirdest texture. It's a thick, not super like glossy feeling, almost like Vaseline. That's how I feel like thick, goopy, not oily, not comfortable, just very bizarre. Everybody that said that it's bad is correct. I'm telling you it's bad. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money on this one. It's really bad and I really want to wear it because I bought it and it's from the Star Wars collection. And I really enjoy that collection, but I just really don't like it and I don't see myself using it ever again, which is unfortunate. Okay, and that is it for this speed reviews video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know any of your thoughts on these products. If you've used them, please let me know or give me a little speed review on any products that you have tried recently. I would love to know. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel. I wanna thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you next time. Bye.